education, quite frankly, is, you know, in traditional systems, I would say doesn't really focus on what's interesting to kids, right? It's like, you know, uh, here's, show us what you know. Uh, the answers are in the back of the book. Don't look and don't talk to anybody because that's cheating and the rest of the world would call that using it resources and collaboration. So, you know, I think that we're really trying to break down those traditional barriers and decolonize education in a sense of helping students to realize, you know, the great potential that lives within. The basic foundation of big picture learning is really student focused student-centered and students are in the driver's seat of their educational uh, pathway and their careers throughout their high school time. You know it's pretty different than what a traditional school model would be where you go to your six periods a day you're told what you're going to take and you sit in your classes and you do your work and you go home and you do that for five days a week. A lot of students aren't really passionate about school, right? School is school. And like some of them actually like really hate school and school doesn't make them feel good about themselves and it's really hard and and that's true for a lot of students not just here at Heritage and so the big picture as an advisor if you can help a student get to their passion then they can see oh I want to be a paramedic well a paramedic takes you know x years in school in university in college which means that I need to actually know math I'm going to use math because I'm a math teacher and so because of that, it allows a student to realize that, oh, these other things that I really don't like are stepping stones to the thing that I really like and the thing that I really want to do. We've done a lot of interest-based inventories based upon your personality, what types of jobs might you, you know, be interested in looking at. We had the opportunity to bring in probably 35 different um, career fields, different industries, of spreading out uh, different pathways for kids. And that was my primary focus for the first, I would say, two to three months of the school year. Through this model, gonna actually be able to see themselves um, grow into positions and fill positions within the tribal community. I mean, that's the bigger picture of that indigenous model, something that we're always asking our students is, what is it that you're gonna do to give back to your community? We had probably five to seven kids by December um, that had secured internships. We have a we had a kid, Apollo Lewis, that's over at Quill with a PE teacher over there. Uh, Melissa Chance and Vanessa Cortez pursued an internship at the fire department. So those kids really kind of laid the, the framework and the foundation for our internship program by, by raising their hand and, and being a leader and stepping up. And so commending those kids uh, for taking a, a healthy risk and doing something different, but also you know, choosing things that are interesting to them. The big picture model is actually the student contacting the business. And so we work on cold calling in the classroom. Um, with a freshman, I'll sit with them and call with them. Hi Erica, this is my, this is Ms. Spino and I'm a student at Tulalip Heritage High School. Um, I think teaching for for me in the past has been lonely. Um, you know, you're isolated in your classroom, um, but Urbana and I worked hard to make sure we have, can co-teach. Yeah. Um, and in this model, it's like opening not only our doors, but our whole school out into the community. Rafael Gomez, he's actually at Taste of Aloha in Marysville. He wants to be a chef, wants to be a cook. He came to me this week and wants to do like a traditional salmon cook, salmon bake here at the school for the students. So he's he's taking his internship knowledge that he's gaining there and then also looking for ways that he can sh kind of show that, that off with our student population in, in a traditional way. The community really wants to see change and they want to see success. For us to have 40 of our kids that are either actively pursuing or in internships in the first year of Big Picture Learning is, is phenomenal. Um, referring back to my meetings with my mentor and I told her that here just before spring break and, and she just couldn't believe that we had made that much progress in one year. And so like really opening those opportunities and opening those eyes of students um, to, you know, to see what is possible 
And quite frankly, the sky is the limit, right? And so we'll figure out the rest. And so when we're in an interest-based education program, our students are our curriculum and they are the center of what we do.